back to the channel, all you beautiful peoples. Chasing some stalker trout today. Gonna do another lake in the Urban Waters program here in Virginia, Dory Park. It's in Hernco, Virginia. Not too far from Richmond. It's about an hour run from my house. Gonna hit the lake up. Just kind of showcase the lake, showcase the park a little bit. Uh, the amenities that they have there and hopefully pull a couple of these starker trout out so I can have some fresh trout for dinner tonight. Throw in some MEP spinners and maybe some unconventional fishing. I got a bobber with some jig heads and trout magnets. Try and maybe hang a trout magnet below a bobber and see what I can get into if I can't get them to hit the spinners. It's a little bit cloudy and overcast. Uh, it's raining right now here in Hampton, kind of more fogging than raining, and I'm hoping it's not raining up there, because I didn't bring a rain jacket, and it wasn't in the forecast, but you know the weather, man. We shall see. So I'll pick this back up when I get to the lake, do a real quick overview, and we're going to get some wet lines. Hope you enjoy what you're watching today. Stay tuned. Here's a sign at the entrance to the lake. Uh, it says play equipment, restroom, dog park, hiking, walking, fishing, shelters, Virginia Capital Trail Connector, tennis, uh, disc golf. So I got quite a few things here. Rec center. Uh, really nice park well maintained um, regular fishing regulations apply must have a fishing license and then during certain months of the year you gotta have a trout stamp to fish here but we're gonna get down here I think I'm gonna go to the back side and uh, there's not too many people back there and try and pitch some baits see what happens it's a big stretch back there Kind of like a, a lima bean shape uh, right behind that tree there's a guy fishing so i don't want to get up on him but there's a nice dock uh you are allowed to fish off of it there's a covered pavilion let's see if i can get it in here a little covered pavilion with some benches um but i'm gonna walk around this back side there's a picnic table or a picnic bench over there most everybody is fishing this front corner of the lake and nobody's fishing this back corner so i'm either making a mistake or i'm gonna get on some fish because nobody's over here we'll see Whoa. hey you gotta open your bail people jesus oh i didn't call fish yet Maybe that's here, fishy. Fish, fish, fishy, fishy. Inch guys, come get on my hook, huh? Couple inch guys, bite the drop magnet. Appreciate that. The beautiful people at the tube just, they just want to see you. That's all. My stove wants to see you too, but we won't talk about that. Man, took all day. Took all friggin' day. Well, I got it done. Took all day. We are gonna take this guy home. get them unhooked here all right we're all rigged back up um he's down on the strand not doing great because he was gut hooked but i'm taking him home or regardless so 
I'm just glad to have one on the stringer and one on film. And I'll try and do that a couple more times. Hopefully we can let this one go. Whoa! Drop him on the ground. There you go. Get him back in the water. Well, we got something figured out here. Floating power bait about four and a half feet below a bobber. Little tiny sinker right at the bottom of the well about six inches up from the power bait just to keep it down and uh, they're tearing it up can't get them on a spinner can't get them on a trout magnet and this seems to be working so we're gonna stick with it there it is got them all Got him in the net. Nice Stucker Brown. Get him unhooked with my stringer. Get you a quick shot of him real quick. He got somebody else's line on him too. There he is, nice one. Ooh, that's a pretty fish. Drop the rod. There we go. In the net. He's not huge. If I can get him unhooked, he's going back in. Let's see how deep it is. There we go. Nice little stalker. Pitching the old black and white rooster tail now. Towards the end of the day. Got about a half an hour till I head out of here. Two on a stringer. I cut two loose. Um, they were keeper fish, but they were small. So I put them back. If I get one more nice one, that'd be great. If not, I definitely have enough for dinner.